Good afternoon, good evening. It's a late afternoon for me. My name is Jason Tako. I'm going to be working on a alpine scene. I'm up in the crazy mountains. And I'm looking up at this cliff which towers way above me. So I'm going to try to paint this Make it look tall. If you like this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Keep the algorithms happy. Leave your comments, questions below. If you haven't subscribed, I ask you to do that. I put up a couple videos every month. I show the first bit of it to the YouTube public, and then after that we switch to um, to my Patreon subscribers. So if you want to see this entire video, click on the link below, become a Patreon subscriber. It's five bucks a month, and you can watch me or see this full-length video, as well as other videos that I'll be posting. There's some up there. So just trying to come up with an interesting composition. I'm not gonna paint this just like it is in the scene. It's quite a mess. Sun keeps going in and out on me. Main thing I wanna capture is that mountain, cliff, whatever you call it. I'm going to block in what appears to be my darkest dark. By the way, the colors on my palette, titanium white, nickel yellow, uh, cadmium yellow light, uh, cadmium orange, yellow ochre, transparent red oxide, Cadmium Red, a Lizard Crimson, Ultramarine Blue, Cobalt Blue, Cerulean Blue, Viridian, and this is uh, a little bit of um, sap green that I have left. I, if you look closely, I'm not sure if you can see it, but my white and yellow, part of my white, part of my yellow has all kinds of speckles in it. I was out painting on the planes earlier today. I did record that, so you might have seen that already depending on when I decide to post it. And the wind was just absolutely atrocious, which is one of the reasons why I ended up way up here, because there's not as much wind, hardly any wind here, but boy, out in the plains, it was absolutely awful. So let's get in some approximate values. I used to try to paint these scenes exactly how they were, and boy, it was a nightmare. Plus, the painting didn't turn out as good. So now I just use what nature has given me as an inspiration. Which I think is what a lot of guys do. Guys and gals. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever your cup of tea is on that. With this, uh, these clouds moving in and out, it's really a challenge. Gonna put in some more intense green in the foreground.
and depending on what the light does and everything, this might just end up being a quick sketch. We'll see what uh, what I'm handing here. My main intentions is this up here. But because this is a more ambiguous gray up there, and this is more definite, these stronger greens, I just wash those in really quick, wash in a dark value. Now I have something where I can measure this ambiguity off of. You've heard me say this before, those of you who've watched my other videos, but that's how it's done. So sunlight's covering up our scene right now. Let's um, let's mix kind of an approximate. Go a little lighter with that. If you're wondering what I'm painting on, it's just oil prime linen, a medium weave that's glued down not glue down, tape down onto a piece of masonite. So because this is gonna change pretty fast, and I'm really just after values and colors, let's get an approximate in of just cover most of the, most of this cliff. Heck, let's cover it all. Or almost all of it. As it come down, the blue is going to get a little stronger and a little warmer. Just because it's getting closer to us. Up in here, there's some trees which are darker, a little more ambiguous, dark, neutral color. Still on the cool side. It's a little too dark. You do not want to kill the atmosphere. You got to squint at this. Okay, before I go in with the highlights, let's block in that sky. Now we're looking up pretty high. The horizon line is not even in this painting. It, the horizon line is way down here. 
which means that we're looking up a lot more toward the zenith of the sky. But we've got to measure this value. The value of this sky has still got to be darker, or lighter, I'm sorry, than, the, than that cliff. That's more important than anything else. Now I can play with the value of the cliff a little bit, but I already have it pretty well established. So I'm going to key the sky in more around the cliff, then maybe make some slight adjustments to it as we go. Now one thing I've learned too when doing this stuff is with these alpine scenes that are looking high up, even though it might look like it's super dark right there along that edge, you may not want to make it real dark. Keeping it a little lighter can help keep that kind of atmospheric effect. All right, I'm gonna go in with a bit of ultramarine blue as well. Keep it the same value. But I am seeing some of that color up here as well. There's also clouds floating in and out. I'm not gonna bother with them. Oops, almost lost my brush thing here. <laughs> I have no idea if I'm shouting a lot or not when I talk. It's hard to tell with this rushing water behind me. All right, let's get the highlight in. Let's try a bit of orange, titanium. Not too bad. Definitely want to uh, simplify this highlight shape. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. And it's going to change fast. That's a bit too warm. Throw some more titanium in there, maybe a touch of viridian. Get a, kind of an unusual color combination for this, but I don't mind experimenting. Okay, I want to squint at the scene to get an idea of the highlights. So that I can get that nice simplification in. There we have highlights. They appear to be slightly warmer, a little darker.
mix some of this in with that. Up here, you get kind of an ambiguous highlight. It's a little darker. Okay, so we have main block in done. We have the highlight, we have the shadows, sky, pretty much all the white of the canvas is covered up. So let's go in and tweak the, um, this mountain now. I'm going to leave this part off at the top right now, focus a little more down here because we have a cloud behind there now. It's giving it a lighter value, which could throw me off. I want to come back and mess with that. when the blue sky is back there again. All right, so it looks to me like I could get a little bit darker value. That's still too light. I want to focus on the edges where the dark meets the highlight. Because right in that area is where it tends to get the darkest. And then it lightens up a little bit as it moves away. Okay, back in here, as we move away from the highlights, you can almost see hints of warm and slightly lighter values. I almost see a hint of viridian up there. Want to be careful. It doesn't get too greenish. Maybe go back in with a touch of cobalt. Okay, I'm going to stop there for the public viewing. If you want to watch the rest of this video and me finish this painting, become a Patreon supporter, five bucks a month. You can see the whole thing. I also do probably live online classes. Didn't talk about that here because I'm kind of in a rush. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, please. And leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, join Patreon, and we'll see you again.